Um, and then the last tool I, I'll talk about is what I call the SMAC ROI, right, dashboard, which is, um, you know, so I'll, I'll explain this, uh, this two by two uh, a little bit. So on the uh, x-axis, which is the horizontal axis, you have what's called as the SMAC adoption. Um, and on the y-axis, you have value, right? So SMAC adoption is basically, you know, how, how, how much has your company adopted, um, you know, the SMAC stack, right? And so Y is, on the Y axis, basically you're saying, how much value am I generating by adopting the SMAC stack, right? So this is an, exa this is an opportunity for you to kind of look at your digital programs at, at all of your, so if you're you know, planning your digital strategy and your programs for 2014 and saying, okay, I'm going to do a website redesign, I'm going to do a mobile site, I'm gonna do a mobile app, I'm gonna run a bunch of campaigns, I'm gonna create a blog, I'm gonna do X, Y, Z. This, is, this tool will help you measure the value of each of those those programs and figure out where where it fits in here, and I'll show you why why that's important, right? So, um, you know, if you have low SMAC adoption and you you don't think you can get a, a lot of value out of it, then you're going to sit in the in the back burner uh, quadrant. Uh, if you have you know, high SMAC adoption, and if you have, you know, a high value, meaning you're gonna invest in a lot of, uh, uh, in the SMAC stack, and you're gonna get a lot of value at it, that's where you, your opportunities will be. And the other two quadrants are maximized in inflection. Now, now the way to think about this is, take Netflix, right? Where do you think Netflix fits in this? Where, where is Netflix? Do, has Netflix, you know, in adapted the, adopted the SMAC stack, right? So they're, they're on the, on the high side, right? How much value is Netflix generating out of, out of adapting this, adopting the SMAC stack? A lot of value, right? So high value, high adaption, right? They're in the maximized column, right? Make sense? Do you see you know, how, to, how to use this quadrant, right? Now, let's go back in time, um, you know, eight years ago. Where do you think Netflix was you know, when they were sending DVDs by mail, right? They weren't highly adopted. They hadn't adopted the SMAC stack. You know, they were, there was opportunity for them to adopt it. So, you know, they were, at that point, there was a lot of opportunity, but they hadn't adopted it yet, right? Um, even, let's go back to Blockbuster, right? They hadn't, they hadn't adopted the SMAC stack at all. And they weren't generating a whole lot of value at that point. Um, and so someone came in and said, you know, I'm going to adopt the SMAC stack. I'm going to generate a lot of value, and they broke down the old business model and really reached out to uh, the maximized column. So the thing to, to recognize is organizations go through, this is a cycle, right? You start with, you know, being in the, you might start being in the back burner column, move out to the opportunity column, move out to maximize, and then guess what's happened to Netflix? Well, a lot of content, a lot of competition has come in following and adopting the same model that, that they offer. And so they're starting to uh, reshape their business model a little bit by creating you know, original programming, you know, the House of Cards, you know, Orange is the New Black, um, things of that nature, to really go back, you know, take that cycle back and get back to the maximized column. Right? So it's, you might be, as an organization, you know, in one of these quadrants, the important thing to, to, to recognize is that you're not going to be in that quadrant for very long. Um, and if you, if you are, you know, everything will be driving you back to the back burner. So you need to really adapt the strategy, this technology in a way that will get you back into the maximized column.